Hi everyone, Natalie here from Three Feathers, and today we're going to do a soundscape story. A soundscape story is a story where you use different sound effects to help you tell the story. And so today I have some instruments. I'm going to have a drum, I have a rain stick, that one's fun, uh, a little clapper, and a little shaker. And if you don't have any instruments, don't worry. There's so many st things around the house that you can use. You can use pots and pans. You can use some bits from the kitchen to make a shaker. Literally, there's you can use anything in the house to make different sound effects. And also, a really good thing to use is your, your voice. You can do so much with your voice. And also, you can use your body. You can clap on your on your arm, clap on your belly. You know, you can stomp your feet. There's so much that you can do. Just get really creative. One of our absolute favorite ones, tortoise and the hare. So let's get started. One day by a riverbank, a tortoise was taking a very long and very slow drink. When suddenly, a hare came up to him. <laughs> You're so slow at doing everything. How do you get anywhere? Yes, replied the tortoise. But I bet I can get there sooner than you can. <laughs> this very much amused the hare. And the two decided to have a race. All of the forest was there to see the race. <sighs> they were cheering. <sighs> Who was going to win the race? So they got ready. They got set and they were off. The hare was off in a flash. The tortoise moved slowly and steadily. The tortoise couldn't even see the hare anymore. He was so far ahead. The hare, not being able to see tortoise anymore, decided that he was so far ahead ooh, ooh, that he'd go for a or a nap. And so he slept very peacefully. The tortoise kept on going, slow and steady. And soon, the tortoise had passed. The sleeping hare, going slow and steady. And then, Gently, the hare had woken up to see that he has been asleep for quite some time and that he could see the tortoise nearly at the finish line. He ran, he ran, and he ran, and he ran, but it was too late because the tortoise had 
just cross the finish line. And the tortoise said, slow and steady always wins the race. I hope you enjoyed that story and now it's your turn to have a go. See what you can come up with. We love to hear your stories and any thoughts or comments that you have and we'll see you guys again soon.